What is up, y'all? Welcome back to the Smoke Your Greens channel. It is your boy Jules. I am uh, in a whole new environment now. If y'all don't know, I recently moved down to the beautiful state of Georgia. So, no legal cannabis here, but the farming here and the growing season and the soil and all that is, is a whole different game. So, I'm learning stuff down here. I'm bringing my KNF knowledge and uh, all that shit to Georgia, trying to make it work here in the red clay soils. Anyways, y'all, today I'm going to be showing y'all all about how I collect indigenous microorganisms. This is really the, the backbone to Korean natural farming. Um, this is honestly one of the steps that people get to last, but in my opinion, and not even my opinion, in the opinion of the people that taught me this, IMO is like 80% of KNF. Once you get your soil dialed in and you get your nature's microorganisms happy in your soil, they do it all for you, honestly. Um, <clears throat> so if you're unfamiliar, IMO are indigenous microorganisms. That's another name for the... Um, just another name for the... Um, the fungi and the bacteria that exist indigenously in areas like forests. Um, so... Um, Essentially, more or less, just microorganisms exist under all um, forests like this. And so you can find them usually by peeling back um, some leaf litter or some logs. And you can see like some white hyphae or mycelium typically. And what this is doing is this is connecting the roots of trees. It's, it's like a big highway underground that helps with nutrient uptake. It helps with moisture retention. It helps, um, you know, kill off pathogenic um, bacteria and fungi. There's so many reasons why IMO is helpful. In many days, people sell that stuff actually like in the form of EM1 in fish and microorganisms. Um, I would argue that IMO is very similar. It probably has a more wide um, array of organisms actually. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to show you all my process of how I do all that. Let me first just give you a little preview of what some IMO looks like. Here we go. So back here we have a bunch of leaf litter that's been piled up over and over. And you can see right here in the sunlight. You all see that? Ooh. This is a perfect example of what like high figure mycelium looks like. And it's ripping apart so you can see that it has very good structure. It holds well together. Um, yeah, IMO helps hold your soil together, it helps prevent erosion, it helps hold nutrients. There's so many reasons why this is the shit. But this is the jackpot right here. And this this came about because we're just piling leaves back here. This is a forest behind my backyard. We've just been piling up leaves back here. And once we dug around a little bit, we found a ton of fungal hyphae. So I'm going to be um, making some, I collecting some IMO off of this. So let me show you how I cook my rice. Okay, y'all, in terms of cooking your rice for your IMO, it's mad simple. You can really use any type of rice. I used uh, brown long grain rice in this in this instance, but all we're really doing is you want to cook the rice al dente. So I just had a little bit more water than rice on this one. Um, it's almost done cooking now. You can also add OHN and FPJ to the water as you're cooking, just a tiny dash, and that's supposed to help encourage the IMO to colonize the rice. Anyways, this is almost done. The water is damn near all evaporated, so I'm going to take this off and add it to my rice box once it's cooled. Okay, so right here we have a pretty good selection of mycelium and fungal, fungal hyphae from... Oh yeah, hell yeah, you can see all that right there. So, all I'm gonna do is take my box, put it right on top of all this, Maybe add some of this over top a little bit. Encourage that. Yeah, there you go. Anyways, for the next 30 seconds, my high ass kind of spaces out and it's just focused on creating a nice environment for my rice box. Um, as you can see here, I actually closed the lid on that. You don't need to, but while I was off camera, I was putting some leaf mulch that had IMO on it on the inside of my rice box and then I closed it. I'm now covering it with other leaves just to keep the critters off and keep that buried. 
and then covering it with the basket to hopefully keep any pests out. This will stay for about two to four days and then you're done, you know.